Hi Aries, this is a love reading, okay? This is going to be um, how they feel about you. Oh, you guys got good news coming in. You guys are about to receive some good news that's going to make you so, so happy or you're about to hear from someone like, and you're going to be happy to hear from them, okay? When you answer the call, because it looks like you're going to answer, some of y'all may not answer, okay? But it looks like somebody's going to answer and it's going to change your life for the better. So this, this is Page of Wands energy. This is giving like, can y'all see that? Okay, because this camera been giving me some, a little bit of issue, but anywho. Good news is coming. Could be a new job opportunity, a, a new uh, contract, anything, anything related to finances. Some of you guys are uh, trying to buy a home. If you're trying to buy a home, you've got good news coming in about this home that you want or about financing. Okay, uh, offers coming in. Let's see. Progress. You guys are like killing it right now. You're making progress, you guys. That's so good. Listen, I think I'm talking to someone where like things have been a little slow, things have been a little bit stagnant in your life and you've been either feeling unfulfilled or you've been, you feel like you don't feel satisfied with the way things are going and right now what's coming in for you is that there's going to be a, a very good positive shift. Things are going to change. Okay, so listen, is it good? Yes. Is it going to require some form of change? Yes, but it's freedom. It's like a, a sense of liberation and freedom here. All right, it's going to get you out of whatever funk that you've been in. Show me what else for the collective. I like this already. All right, you, some of you guys are getting ready to meet people who are part of your life here. Um... So this is what I just got because I just delusions was in reverse and then I have soul tribe here. So some of you all are detaching or have been detaching from people in your life, right? Family members, friends, whoever, relationships, and connections with people that just aren't in alignment with like who you are anymore, basically, okay? You're not you're coming out of these delusions. Um, you know? You're not in a fantasy world anymore. You know what's real. I feel like some of you guys have been spending spending some time alone and kind of in this stagnant energy here. A lot of you all are, are finding who you are now and meeting people. You're going to be meeting people who really are in alignment with who you are now or your, or your vibration or, you know, where you currently are. Ooh, reconciliation is on the bottom of the deck interesting some of y'all might have a connection coming in from the past all right somebody who is wishing and waiting for you this was somebody who was wishy-washy in and out seven of cups energy they may have been a player player play at you know male or female hmm since you've been on a break from this person, you you are not confused anymore about what it is that you want and what it is that you deserve. Okay, what else is coming in for the collective here? <clears throat> yeah, you guys are. Ooh, you got a soulmate coming in. Okay, and I really feel like you guys, you have like you're about to meet other like-minded people that are on your vibration. Spirit keeps talking about this. Okay, support. Like. Also, too, you have this new soulmate coming in. This new soulmate is going to support you. They're going to be very supportive. Three of Pentacles energy. Two of Cups energy. You know, it's coming towards you, you guys. Don't, don't be afraid when this comes in to let this person in. Don't be afraid to be vulnerable. Obviously, don't be, you know, like, gullible. But and trust your intuition. But you, you get what I'm saying. Because you, you, the both of you are being, whether you know it or not, are being divinely guided towards each other right now. So this could be a situation where, like, the two of you are manifesting each other. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Whoever this person is are coming into their life to offer you support. This is going to be somebody who you're going to grow with. This is somebody who is going to be very kind, very giving. This is someone who wants to genuinely see you do better. Yeah, look at what's on the bottom of the deck. Rest rest so it's really just like 
you know, remember I was saying earlier, like, you guys probably, if you keep it to yourselves or you've been in a stagnant point in your life, you could have just been disconnecting and chilling and cutting some things off and you, 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 you're leveling up in certain ways in certain areas of your life. You're growing and expanding. Let's pull some tarot and see what's going on with this. Show me what this good news is about, Spirit Guides. What's this good news about for the collective? Oh, man. That's too many. Show me more what this good news is about for the collective. One card, please. Okay. This is something that's going to be balanced. Temperance energy. Remember I said at the beginning of the reading, this is Sagittarius energy. This is good karma. Temperance is about something. This is something that you've been waiting for. This is something that's going to be fair, balanced, something that you deserve. Okay, for some of you guys, like if you're, if you are, um, <clears throat> say like if this is a legal situation, then this is, this is turning in your favor, right? Um, Sagittarius and Libra energy for sure. So yeah, legal situation is going to be in your favor. This is about a connection. This is going to be a very well balanced connection, a very well deserving connection. If this is a new job, you earned it fair and square because that's what you're supposed to be. That's what you're supposed to have. That's your value. That's your worth. You have the experience. You have the knowledge. Show me where progress is here. Okay, two of swords. So you're coming out of the stagnancy, which is good, right? And yeah, page of wands. You're coming out of the stagnancy. Two wands with the uh, page of wands, which is that good news. Okay, so this progress has something to do with this good news. Uh, you might be a little confused or undecided, kind of back and forth about it or whatever. Or um, either way, it doesn't matter. It's good news, okay? It's something that's going to push your life. To the next level elevation you know what I'm saying better something better where there is a, a better mate yeah after this after ten of swords energy after a breakup or a betrayal or after stagnancy in love or after you know something happening maybe some of you all were were laid off of work or you know whatever this is it was like something a little bit unexpected and it wasn't no that's not what I mean. It was something that wasn't of your doing. You know what I'm saying? It's something somebody else did. But the scales are about to balance. Why is Soul Tribe here? You guys are about to find a true soul companionship or a true soul connection, which is going to be built on trust, love. This, could, again, could be friendships. Why is Soul Tribe here or this new soulmate that's coming in that's going to be very supportive? The King of Cups. The King of Cups. Wait, can y'all see that? The King of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Look at that. Page of Swords. It's, there's, a, there's a King of Cups watching you. <laughs> oh, boy. Some of you guys could be meeting some new friends. Um, or just meeting your new soul tribe, like at school or like somewhere where you're learning at a learning center or, or a classroom of some sort or a program. All right. Yeah. This is cool. Why is delusions here? Why is delusions here, please? Hangman came out in reverse to me. But I think someone here is seeing a new Pisces energy. Somebody seeing a situation um, for what it is or having a different. Didn't I say earlier you're coming out of delusions because delusion came out in reverse. So it's like you guys are literally, you guys are literally like coming out of any sort of confusion or wishy-washy energy. You know what I mean? You're, you're, yeah. Don't get lost in like the minutia of shit. You know what I mean? Or, or, or things that don't really matter. I think this is you saying like, you know, right on, man. You know, because that's every time I see this like little, you know, hangman. Um, not hangman, but y'all know. 
the surfer, whatever they call this thing. It's like right on, man. Like whatever. I'm not. I'm not complaining about nothing, or I'm not really concerned about things that really don't. I'm not trying to be stressed out for no reason. Yeah. Anywho. That's the energy I'm getting. Alright. I am open for personal readings, you guys. Uh, information is below in the description box. You can also email me at the email address in the description box. Okay. The Fool. You guys have a new beginning coming towards you. Very, very fast. The Fool in the Page of Swords. Aries energy, you could be an Aries, like I said, or Pisces here, um, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, yeah, why is the soulmate here, so this new beginning, like I told you, there's going to be changes, you got to take a leap of faith, you got to take a risk, you get a little bit out of, outside of your comfort zone, some of y'all want spirit to like lay it out on a silver platter and then put a name on it and then color code it for you to follow what spirit is saying. Don't be like that. Don't be like that, you guys. Why is the soulmate card here? Clarify soulmate. Ace of Swords. Why is the soulmate card here? Mm. Uh oh, it dropped the card. Let's see. Okay. Oh, oh, Ten of Wands? Interesting. Let's get another card. Why is the soulmate here? Clarify soulmate. For some of y'all, this is a past person that wants reconciliation, like I was saying earlier. Somebody wants to come in and communicate with you and say, listen, like, It's been a burden and been, it's been overwhelming without you. Others of you, new person, you don't want an old person and you, you don't care. <laughs> like, you don't even care what that who that old person is, energy is. This is just you, like, finally getting victory over the past, right? Because we got the Ten of Swords over here. Now we have the Ten of Wands over here. Four of um, Pentacles in reverse. I typically don't really don't want to read this in reverse, but I'm going to read it in reverse for you guys. But um, this is going to be somebody who's good at saving. Okay, somebody who's really good with finance. This person could work in finance. <clears throat> also, if this is your past person, they can't let you go. But I feel like this is also you personally letting go of burdens. Okay, letting go of burdens, letting go of feeling overwhelmed, the death card, yeah, you're ending this, Scorpio energy, you're ending stuff, anything that's burdensome, overwhelming, confusing, whatever, you're not dealing with it anymore, you're, you're not interested, you are making progress, you're dead and stuff, and you're transforming, and your angels and your guides, spirit guides support you right now while you're going through that, why support here? Why is support here? Clarify support. The Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm happy for y'all. Spirit said the support is Ace of Cups. This person's gonna come in. This new person is gonna come in and like support you for real, for real. The Ace of Cups, King of Cups. This person's gonna be very supportive, or this could just totally be you getting support from this new soul tribe, connecting with these new people. Um, in this new program or whatever it is, like you could be learning anything new or in some some form of educational institution, right? Apply it where it fits and feels familiar to you. This person who's coming in is going to be supportive. They're going to be supportive of the, the, the person you presently are and then the person that you want to be in the future. This person is, oh, look what's on the bottom of the deck, the lovers. I just noticed that. And the five of pentacles. Interesting. A choice. Strong, passionate connection. Okay. Some of you guys are coming um, out of a 
period of stagnancy or um, like where your money maybe wasn't where you really wanted it to be wasn't where you know you haven't reached those goals male or female whatever I like this energy um so we have zodiac signs we have Scorpio um Libra Sagittarius Cancer Pisces Scorpio Pisces, I said Pisces, Aries. Alright, show me advice here for the collective. Yeah, free spirit. Spirit says don't worry about a thing, right? Everything's gonna be alright. I mean, that's the, what I was, the energy I was getting from like this hey man. It's like, alright man, you know, like, yeah man, like this surfing energy and I'm not that person. <laughs> Even though I'm joking with y'all, but seriously, like, I'm not that person. So, Spirit is just saying, stay in the moment, live in life right now. Like, you know, focus, let go of control. You know what I'm saying? Let this come. Ooh. 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 Listen, y'all are in pure love and light energy right now. Good for you. Ooh. Listen, Spirit says, let go of control. Be spontaneous. Go have some fun. You know what I'm saying? Let your hair down. Let your tail out. Go see the Little Mermaid. I don't know. Like, there's something here coming towards you. Awareness and light. Which is that good news energy. Awareness and light. Guess what's coming to light? This abundance. I really feel like love, money, it's about to be lit for y'all. Like, I really feel like it's about to be really, really real. I really do. Like, <clears throat> I'm like super duper proud of you guys and happy for you. All right. So you just know you have some good news coming towards you pertaining. It's going to push you forward in your life, get you where you want to be, coming out of a period of stagnation. You're meeting some new people who are going to be like-minded or on the same level of vibration or whatever it is that you have. Like-minded people, um, especially if you're like studying to be something or learn something here. You're coming out of a lot of illusions and delusions after Ten of Swords. You know, dealing with dealing with them people, karmics, karmic pers people, karmic lessons. You know what I'm saying? And getting your soulmate, somebody who's going to really, really support you and love you. Um, and money's going to be getting greater. Uh, just don't be afraid to come out of your comfort zone and trust your intuition when it comes to, like, you know, taking a chance on this person. You got to reset. Spirit says, okay, you got this new abundance coming towards you, this good news. Please get out of your comfort zone and don't be, you know, a bitter Betty or, like, you know, I don't know, whatever. Y'all know what I'm saying. Don't be closed minded, be open minded. Don't be guarded. Be free spirited. Be be willing to experience something new. This is the light card, by the way, is star energy. All right, which is hope, wish fulfillment, something you've been asked for, something you've been wanting is coming towards you. All right, that's your reading, guys. Hit the like button. Bye.